another Super Size Sunday with me, Solomon, and me, Samaya. Today we are going to be fishing for ice cubes. You're going to need some stick, some ice, some string, some water, some salt, a oh. cup or bowl. And now let's get started. Step one, put in five ice cubes. So, come on, Tom. One, two, one, two. You have to get out. One, two, three. I got one. So the next step, step two, you're going to need to pour in a little less than half of your water. Well, and then at the next step, you're going to need to make your rod out of the Sticks and the yarn, or whatever she needs. Step three you are going to lay the string over the ice. So you're going to do this. Step four you're going to need to get your sock and get a handful and put it over the ice and your um, I'm just gonna put your own sock Whoa. okay so jam okay. and make sure you hold it tight all right looks like enough hold it tight so now we're going to uh, um, dip it right over the ice, put it right over the ice, sprinkle it through your hand. Alright, 60 seconds countdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, it may be easier to get a timer. Time yourself for 60 seconds. Alright guys, I hope this worked out for everybody and I hope you guys can come to my next, um, our next Super Science Sunday. And make sure you stay tuned by, make sure you help out the channel by subscribing and staying tuned. Before you leave, you want to know why this happens? The salt, once you pour it in, it makes the temperature low. That's why you see like little indents in the ice. So that makes the yarn stick to the ice because it gets free, it gets freezed again and well, it sticks. I'm going to go cook me some ice for dinner. Bye. Bye.